Hello, welcome to the Triathlon Dan YouTube channel and welcome to a video all about my favourite topic, food. Now for those who perhaps don't know, I'm an amateur triathlete and I'm trying to work over this winter to be the best athlete I can be. One of the things I'm focusing on is trying to lose some weight. It's a bit of a barrier to my performance at the minute, it's not the be all and end all, but it's one of the things I'm focused on this winter. Now in order to combat that properly and sustainably, I'm working with Total Endurance Nutrition, a gentleman called Sam. Sam's telling me what to eat, it's as simple as that. This is not a paid promo, he's not paying me to say this, I'm a paying customer of Total Endurance Nutrition, but I'm sharing this journey in the hope that some other people might be going through these same sorts of things as well, so maybe you'll pick something up that is useful. I'm gonna share with you what I'm doing, this is not a, this is what you need to do. So, you join me on a work from home day, so I work full time, but I'm at home today, so that means I can document what I'm eating really easily, so I thought I'd take you along for the ride. So it's about quarter to nine in the morning, and it's breakfast time, I know that's not particularly early, I work nine till five, so <laughs> there we go. Now breakfast is pretty simple. I have porridge um, and some uh, chocolate protein powder. So porridge wise, I should probably go into a bit more detail, between 80 and 90 grams. This is something we've worked on over the last three weeks. I'm now three weeks into this plan. Getting into better habits. We're not worrying too much about calorie deficits and what I'm weighing and those sorts of things at the minute. We're just trying to get into better habits. I definitely had some terrible habits which I'm trying to combat. Now, as a result of that, I have actually lost about three kilos in about three and a bit weeks through getting into better habits, just through getting rid of those bad ones. So it's almost taking care of itself for the time being, but this is, this is what we're doing now. So breakfast started off a few weeks ago as 100 grams of oats, because that's what I had normally. It's now dropped down slightly to between 80 and 90 grams of oats. This depends what training I'm doing on the day. So I have all my training planned in Training Peaks, and then Sam will have access to Training Peaks, and he looks at it, looks at what training I'm doing, and will plan my food accordingly. On days when I'm training more, he might give me more. Days I'm training less, I might have less. If I'm racing the next day, I might carb up, those sorts of things, you get the idea. So breakfast is about, uh, say, 85, 90 grams of oats. I did uh, <laughs> do the first take of this, actually making it, but I did take two now, so sorry. Um, and then I put them about 50 grams of uh, protein powder in there, which I think is about 35, 40 grams of actual protein, there's all stuff in it. And then I'd normally have some mixed berries, just like some frozen mixed berries. If I'm honest, I'm not a big fan of mixed berries. I get them down me because I know that they're good, but I have run out, so I have put a banana in there instead. Medium-sized banana, large banana, regular banana, whatever. Anyway, it's got a banana chopped up in it. And Sam tells me to make this with milk. However, it's a bit of a faff. It's easier just to boil a kettle and put hot water in it. So what I do instead is I'll have to just have a glass of milk because then I'm still having the same thing but it's saving me the fat of having to make hot milk in a porridge. I don't actually know how to do it. The only other thing I'd have in there is a squirt of honey about a tablespoon full and that is breakfast. I don't know how many calories it is. I might have put it on screen if I, do, if I haven't already. That's Sam's job. I'm just doing it. I'm told there's only so many things you can think about and process and plan isn't there in life and the beauty of having a nutrition coach is that they do that for you. So that's what I'm doing. So trying to get cracking with the working day and I'll see you in a couple of hours for a morning snack. I'm going to try and not do every single clip in the kitchen today but that's the nature of the video isn't it? So I'm in between meetings although my home is pretty flat out today so I'm grabbing a quick snack with mid-morning. I've got some cottage cheese which is 125 grams of and I'm also just going to throw in some sunflower seeds and some pumpkin seeds only like a, a dash a little, a little bit and then I'm just going to eat that quick easy on the go and I love cottage cheese I know it's not for everybody it's a bit uh, independent this is Langley Farm Longley Farms Yorkshire cottage cheese let's get stuck in this is actually one of the main habits that I've tried to resolve. Now I do snack quite a lot and I think it's important to snack because I'm doing quite a bit of exercise. So I'm running in about an hour, an hour and a half. So I do need a snack, but I don't want to have something massive. Now I'd normally have like a Belvita bar or a cereal bar or something like that. But because there's quite a lot of sugar in those things, that then causes me to have a sugar spike, sugar crash, etc., etc. And Sam thinks that's part of the reason why I then eat poorly later in the day. So having something like this, a bit more specific, protein, fats, carbs, etc., without it being that big spike of sugar. So, and I actually really enjoy it, so it's just getting into the habit of eating things like this rather than the convenient open a packet. Like that is convenient. You can't get much more convenient than just open a packet, chucking some seeds in and dumping a spoon in it, can you? So anyway, a bit more work than um, lunchtime runtime, and I'll see you after that for lunch. 
time to eat some more food. I've been for a run and I feel pretty hungry, so lunchtime. Now, I've had half a pouch of whole grain microwave rice, three eggs, a bit of mayonnaise, and mixed all that together. Obviously, the rice is hot, so I just blasted the microwave. The eggs were cold because I boiled those the other day. So that's sort of like lukewarm. And then I essentially just load this up as a big ass salad. So I'm going to put in some spinach, watercress, rocket, and then just some mixed leaves. Chop some cucumber in and also some beetroot. And that's about it. I know I could go mad with like peppers and all the other things. But I find that this a leafy, sun crunchy, bit of beetroot, egg, rice, salad, ticks all the boxes. And I can just load that up. Like I'll have this bowl, I'll put a picture now when it's finished. You know, like heap it up. And it's a real big, decent sized meal. I mix it all in and the egg and the rice and stuff just makes it like a, a real meal that I actually enjoy. So I look forward to this. I probably have this a couple of times a week. Generally when I'm at home, sometimes I'll make it and take it into work, but it's not something I can make at work. And it takes a little bit of time to prep, so I can't always do it. But yeah, this is uh, this is lunch and I'm feeling hungry, so I'm gonna get stuck in. Somebody who is enjoying the new diet is this little guy. <coughs> loves egg, absolutely loves egg. There you go then. Don't tell your mum. Focus, good lad. <coughs> That's disgusting, isn't it? I know it's disgusting, I know it is, but animal owners will understand. It's okay. Just don't be sick on the carpet before your mum gets home. All right. Okay, half past five. I did have an afternoon snack. Mid-afternoon I had a grenade protein bar and an apple. I need to work on having more fruit when I'm at home. My morning snack this morning, I should have had a piece of fruit at the same time, but because I was on meetings back to back, I didn't want to sit there eating. I don't know why I didn't do that, because I normally don't hesitate to do that. Anyway, I didn't have fruit this morning, but I should have done. Now, evening training is an interesting one. I always try and be fueled for sessions, but when it's like an easy session, I don't necessarily need to fuel before it. I could just perhaps have some carb mix or nothing during the session. Tonight is Friday night, and I was either going to do an easy indoor spin, if the weather was bad. If the weather's okay, which is looking like it is going to be, I'm going to go out the club chain gang. So very different training. The chain gang's going to be quite hard and the indoor spin would be quite easy so it's hard to plan what to eat but the adaption I make is before going out for the chain gang I'll have a bagel so I'm just going to put a bagel in the toaster and probably have butter and jam on it and then go out on the chain gang Sam tells me to fuel during rides I don't think he's ever been on a South Normanton chain gang uh, there's not always opportunity to take your hands off the bars or consume anything at like 200 beats a minute heart rate it's not going to be that savage tonight but I find it easier in the dark to focus on riding so just have something before it during the evening training Sam's also been coaching me to like, do one or the other like have something before or fuel jewelry. If I'm doing an hour on the bike, I don't need to have a bagel before and then have a bottle of carb mix on the bike, like it's one or the other. So that's also something I'm, I'm, I'm working on. So I'm gonna have this, and then I'll just take a bottle of squash on the bike because I'll probably have a drink before we start the effort and then <laughs> drink at the finish when we're absolutely gasping at the top of the hill in Ripley. So that's the plan. Anyway, I'm gonna get this down. I'm like, no, I should go very long ago. I need to go in like 15 minutes. So I better crack on and get changed. I'll see you afterwards for tea time. And hopefully Elizabeth home then, and where she is. Okay, evening ride done and dusted. It wasn't that hard, but it was a good workout. I'll leave the stats on screen somewhere. Feel free to follow me on Strava if you'd like to see all of my training. And also, please do hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't already. Now, this is my evening meal. I haven't made this myself. You might be surprised to learn that. This was, oh, these are leftovers from last night from our evening meal. My other half, Elizabeth, made these last, this last night. This is made up of uh, potatoes, new potatoes, tomatoes, onion, broccoli, chickpeas, peppers, low-fat halloumi. Is that it, Elizabeth, I missed anything? Some sort of leaf thing, spinach, who knows? Basically, basil. basil. It's just a good little, a good little meal. These, you know, this meal plan and these foods and these lunches and things are good, but they take a bit of time to make and a bit of preparation. And we haven't always got time to do that sort of thing, have we? So this sort of thing, when Liz spends time, or I spend time, okay, Liz spends time making an evening meal, we're with Sam's guidance, just making more of it and just, you know, having the leftovers like the next day or for lunch or something like that, just to make it a bit more time efficient. And then for pudding, very often we have puddings. I'll have some sort of yogurt normally, either a Muller Light or an Arla protein yogurt, or tonight is a Nestle Lindahl's protein pudding, it's a little chocolate pudding. So to me, this feels like I'm cheating, feels like I'm having a treat, but actually it probably is still a bit of a treat, but it's not the worst thing in the world. What I'll actually do is I'll have this and then I'll probably wait 20 minutes, half an hour. And then when I feel like, oh, I'm a bit peckish again, or I feel like a snack, then I'll have this. So it feels like I'm doing those things. So yeah, um, I don't have the count for total calories for the day or calories burnt for the day. I can look at on Training Peaks what calories burnt, but 
I sort of look to Sam to tell me how many calories to eat and he's working all that out. I think it's the benefit of paying for that sort of thing, isn't it? Like I'm not having to give myself the mental stress of working out how much and what, what meal and whatever else. I'm tracking my weight, tracking how I'm training, I'm tracking what I'm eating and tracking my exercise, all in the same place. So all that information's there. I'm gonna get stuck in, I'm starving. Thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, please do hit the subscribe button down below. And I'll see you tomorrow at one o'clock for training day tomorrow and then the day after, doing a race. See you there.